a lot of people that I speak with on a regular basis will ask me about sound therapy because they've read about it online and they wonder, well, does sound therapy just mean having background noise? And is that enough or does it mean some kind of specialized program for sounds that you're going to be listening to regularly? And the answer is it's both. And, you know, that's a tool that you can use in either element, whether it's for a designated amount of time per day or whether it is for most of your waking hours when you're primarily in silent environments, because you'll come across a lot of different perspectives on that. I mean, have you seen that too, Dr. Ben? I definitely have seen some different different perspectives. Different people have different things to say. Patients come to me and they they are surprised when I say, yeah, we, we don't want you to be sitting through tinnitus in silence. And they're surprised. And I think there's there's messages out there, whether it's online, different people who say, personally, I did this and I got better doing this. And then that story gets out there and it can put this message inside the, the mind of someone of, oh, well, I need to do what that what they're doing. So that's one one thing that I do see. There's different online forums. There's different YouTube channels. There's different websites, Reddit groups, right? Some of them are more credible than others. Even amongst professionals, it's not always the same answer. The way that I learned tinnitus treatment is tinnitus retraining therapy, which is one of the major protocols to follow. 